Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking today at the HP Pro Desk. Uh, we took a brief look at in a previous short. Uh, today we're going to see if it'll boot. This has the 500 gigabyte hard drive in it and uh, looks to be complete. Uh, the case is a little scuffed up from the recycler, but overall everything looks good. So I'll go ahead and get a power plug here, get this inside. Alright, let's go ahead and find the power button and turn it on, see if she fires up. There we go. Now this one's hooked up with DVI. We've got USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, after striking the power button, I see some lights on the front. But not seeing any action on the display which is a little odd turn on the speaker everything seems to be connected there Let's see here now the tricky thing about this monitor <laughs> is sometimes it's not on the right configuration but good news is it did boot up so we're starting up Windows let's see which version of Windows we have on here now this was built with Windows 8 uh, Pro, so I'm hoping that it's upgraded to Windows 10 because I would like to harvest the hard drive. This will be the first one I've really gotten into that, you know, the Core i3 really isn't anything I need, uh, and the motherboard's nothing special, so um, we do have Windows 7 Pro on here, which is not so bad, uh, and it looks like this was probably an enterprise computer of some kind. Let's see if we've got any other users configured. We don't. So we'll have to uh, bust into this hard drive, which is easy enough. We'll try and do the backdoor trick. Luckily, Windows 7 is new enough that I think it'll be, you know, usable and worthwhile for some of these other towers I've salvaged. Um, always hoping for Windows 10. Um, obviously Windows 11 is coming along and uh, you know a lot of what I've got is probably not going to be compatible with that but the good news is that doesn't mean that we can't make some salvage out of what we have so oops gotta time that uh, power off a little bit better I tapped the power button when I didn't mean to so let's go ahead and let it get to the Windows loading screen. And if you've never done this sort of backdoor into Windows, it's pretty easy to do. The biggest thing is you want to get it into um, recovery mode. And then you can go in and edit the sticky keys application so that instead of launching sticky keys on a shift key, it'll launch a command prompt. Um, which you can then alter the administrator password. Um, lots of videos on YouTube show you how to do this. Um, gonna try and make this as interesting as possible. Um, but in the event that doesn't work, uh, so in the event that you know it just starts Windows normally like this, you can always um, hook the hard drive up to a working computer and then go into the file directory through the hard drive and make the edits there. So if we can't get it to work here, that's what we'll do. Um, very easy to do. It's nothing too spectacular. But, um, and again, I'm not showing anybody trick, tricks or tips that aren't already out there. Um, you know, I'm no software expert or anything. Here we go. Start a prepare. Um, you know, it's, it's a fairly basic trick. It's really nothing consequential. Uh, but once you get into it and, and you've done it a few times, it's a great way if you're a dumpster diver, if you buy a used computer and it's password protected and, you know, somebody doesn't remember the password or, you know, you can't get in touch with the seller or whatever the case may be, uh, you can still use that hard drive, use that access. Uh, and it also, again, brings me back to the point I bring up a lot of the times with, uh, these particular systems is you should really be cautious about wiping your hard drive before you recycle or discard your computer. Um, we're going to 
cancel system restore we don't want that uh, basically you don't have to completely you know format the drive but delete all your personal folders and files off of there um, now there are definitely people out there who have skills beyond my own but your average dumpster diver um, probably isn't looking to recover those files to get your personal data and to be honest real true blue retro fans and true blue uh, computer salvage people we don't want your personal information I mean you've seen it on my channel before uh, computers with personal info and stuff I wipe that off I, I don't I don't care what you had I don't want to know your business or your personal financial information that's not what I'm about uh, and I think real retro people out there definitely appreciate uh, that as a sort of a unwritten code of conduct uh, think of it like the uh, pirate guidelines if, if you will uh, we're out there harvesting these treasures but we're not uh, exploiting people at the same time so we're going to give this some time uh, this can take a little while, but uh, then I'll walk you through the steps to backdoor your way into a hard drive. Okay, so now that it's done doing its thing, we get to this area here. And, I mean, you can look at all this stuff, but what you want to do is open up your text file. And then you go open. And then you go into computer. Wow. This is all very interesting here with the partitions they've got going. So the system itself looks to be on its own partition. That's recovery. So we want to go into Windows. And we want to go to System 32. And then you're going to find in here Oh yeah, right. We have to go with all files. And then you want to scroll all the way down and find set HC. And that's your uh, hotkeys. And you're just going to rename this file. Uh, I like to just add a number to the end just to make it different. And then you want to scroll back up and find the command executable. Here we go. And we're going to copy that. And then we're going to come all the way down to the bottom of the directory. Paste. And then we're going to rename this set hc. Now when we do the hotkey, that's going to call up our command prompt. So we can close out of this, don't send, you can finish, and that'll restart the computer. In this case, I guess it shut it down. Typically it's a reset. And this one boots up pretty quick. I have to say I'm kind of impressed with this uh, ProDesk booting up quick. I am, however, quite disappointed that it's made for Windows 8 Pro, but it's got Windows 7 on it. Uh, now, Windows 7 I prefer to use, but Windows 8 is a little nicer. Uh, it takes a little less time to upgrade to Windows 10, but uh, no matter. Okay, so here we are at the logon. And so it's rdw slash mcollis that we need to change the password for. So we hit our shift keys and then we can go in and do net user. And that'll give us all the users here that are set up. Uh, interesting. So there's quite a few actually on here. Uh, I think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna change a couple of these. So first we're gonna go Net user. Oops. I think I might have clicked net user. And we're going to start with the administrator. Oh, and let's see here. Yeah, sorry. It's been a while since I've had to do this, so I forgot the exact 
command sequence. We'll give them a password and I'm going to just do one I can remember. Perfect. Now we want to change over. Let's see here. Boy, it, it gives you kind of a lot of options here, but let's go ahead and change up RDW. That user RDW. And we're going to give them the same password that we gave the administrator. Perfect. And then we should be able to switch our user. Let's do administrator. And with any luck, this should take us into the administrator of the machine. And there we go. So everything boots up. This is uh, actually quite a nice little system. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the details here. All right, so we got Windows 7 Pro. It's the HP ProDesk 400G1 SFF with an Intel Core i3 4130 at 3.4 GHz, 4 gigs of RAM, it's a 64-bit OS. Um, yeah. Windows is activated on this, so that's great. So hopefully we might be able to upgrade Windows without having to do too much extra work. Uh, but overall, this is a this is a nice little nice little computer, and I want to see. So we've got the full 500 gigs. Uh, it's partitioned into recovery and all the HP bloat that you typically get, uh, but it does have that slim DVD RW, which will be kind of nice. We'll probably harvest that. Um, but overall, I think, uh, I think we're looking at a pretty capable system. So that is how you backdoor into a hard drive that's password protected. You don't know how to get into. Uh, I'll be formatting, you know, all the stuff on here because there's really nothing I need to keep uh, from this business computer that was discarded. Uh, I'm guessing as a business they did probably a really good job wiping their material off of it. But just in case, to protect them, I'm going to clean this up for them as well. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that like button, drop me a comment, and let me know what you thought or if you have any suggestions for my videos in the future. Uh, and definitely, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.